It used to be cheaper to make your own clothes than to buy new clothes. These days it's absolutely the other way around. Fabric is expensive and fast fashion means that clothes are cheap and disposable apparently. This is news to me. I thought you were supposed to hang on to them until they fell apart. However, bedding has loads of fabric and is either sitting in your cupboard or available cheap at op shops. Look, I'm Australian. I will be calling them op shops. Also known as thrift stores, charity shops, Oxfam, Goodwill, all those places where people donate their, their unwanted stuff and it's sold for charity. The dress you're watching being made right now in what can only be described as a thrilling high-powered montage is being made out of a single bed doona cover or duvet cover. Up to you. I don't know what they're called in the States. Somebody will tell me. A doona cover is about four metres of fabric, which is heaps for most patterns. That, that's a technical measurement, heaps. I had more than enough to make this dress, but did have to shorten the skirt by a couple of inches, which is not really an issue, because uh, the skirt turned out longer than I was expecting it to anyway. The pattern is the Hope Dress by Style Arc. It popped up on Instagram, and I really liked the sleeves. I like the way the sleeves are constructed into the neckline. I have some lovely fabric with bees on it that is waiting for the perfect pattern to be used up so I thought I'd try the Hope dress and see how it looked and see if it was going to be right for my very good bee fabric with which I've been hanging on to for much too long now. Just after I bought the pattern I bought some doona covers to make Moore's bags with and when I hung this one out after washing it I thought it would make a great frock because it's all big and cheerful and tropical and fun and it's got birds on it. Using cheap or recycled fabric to make a new pattern for the first time is a really handy habit to get into if you're starting out making your own clothes. You can check the fit of the pattern, you can practice all the tricky bits so that you know that when you've cut into your expensive fabric, which is sometimes hard to do because fabric, as I've mentioned several times, is expensive, um, you can know that the pattern that you're making, you know how to do it, you know it's going to fit, you know it's probably going to work. I will say if you are buying bedding to use for your crafts or for your sewing or for any other purpose at the op shop, be mindful that there are people who do need access to inexpensive homewares for their actual homes. Uh, people under financial stress, people in, in situations where they can't go to Kmart and buy new bedding uh, need access to that resource. So please be a nice person and pick and choose a few pieces for yourself and leave plenty on the rack for other people. Go nuts on the books though, because I've never been in an op shop where they've had, you know, loads of space on the bookshelf. So absolutely help them clear clear those out. The dress I'm making is a size 20. Yeah, I'm a slap bang between the 18 and the 20 in the style like measurements, like I'm dead centre between them. And it's better to go up a size and have room to move your arms about in case you need to move your arms about during your day, which I've found most days I do need to do. Uh, I got the downloaded version, which is 34 pages, 34 pattern pages that you need to tape together, um, which didn't take as long as I thought it was going to take. I thought that was going to take a good, you know, couple of hours, but once you get into the flow of it, it just flicks through quite well. The instructions were, well, look, this pattern was marked as advanced, or no, it wasn't, it was marked as interve intermediate, and I am probably not yet intermediate in clothes sewing, so there were some issues which I'll talk about shortly. Um, but overall it came together really well and was really straightforward. Okay, this is enough montage. You've seen all the montage you need to see. It's time to show off my new dress. It's a dress made out of a doona cover and nobody would ever know, except I will be telling people. If anyone says, hey, I like your dress, I'll say thank you. It used to be a doona cover and it's got pockets. Um, so this is how it's come out. I've got some long shots to show you how it looks in full length, which is going to be weird because it's done in portrait not landscape but that's that's the only way I could do it unless I wanted to be very very far away um, so it's marked as an intermediate pattern which is sort of a step up from where I usually am I do a lot of sewing but it's predominantly straight lines it's shopping bags it's the occasional soft toy it's basic skirts so I am trying to sort of step up my skills a little bit I am yet to do in my life a buttonhole I have a machine that is supposed to do a buttonhole for me if I ask it to I don't trust it. I'm not, I'm not there yet with the buttonholes. So there's two techniques on this dress that I had not done before. One is pattern matching and the other is a loop and button closure. I'm going to show you both of them now. They're on the back. So I'll just get my hair out of the way. Oops, no, my hair's caught in my button. There we go. Is my button still done up? Yes, it is. Okay, now I can show you. So you can hopefully see, I don't know if I'm in shot, I'll assume I am, this seam down the middle, it's not perfectly pattern matched, but it's not far off, and it's, you know, the best I've done. 
and then the loop and button at the top, which is actually optional. It's optional because I've seen some of the reviews online have said you can actually just leave that out, just sew straight up the back and it will still fit and it does because I'm not undoing the button to put this dress on so that's fine I think next time I make it I probably will just sew straight up the back because I don't know if you can tell but at the bottom of the slit I'm not going to get too close because it is ugly um it's it's bodged I've really had to bodge it I've had to fiddle it and because I the instructions didn't make sense to me and the diagrams didn't make sense to me but in different ways so I just did what looked like it might work and the thing about that is I can just cover it with my hair it's fine no one's going to know the other thing that um, sort of almost tripped me up was that this bodice piece is very small. Normally when you cut out a bodice for a dress piece, it goes to the shoulder seam and to the side seam. This one doesn't because the sleeves actually make up the, the bulk of the width. I don't know if you can see yet. So you can see there the sleeve and the sleeve goes right up to the neckline. So there isn't actually a shoulder seam. So because I cut it out and held it up and went, that's not going to fit. And I held it up against myself and went, I've printed out a size 10 when I should have printed out the 20. But it is the size 20, it's just that I wasn't accounting for all this sleeve bulk. Uh, not bulk, width. <laughs> sleeve fabric. There we go. Um, so I've done a little bit of fussy cutting on it, I think I probably mentioned. So I've got a bird on my sleeve. I've got a bird on my bodice. I've got birds everywhere. There's a lot, of bir lot more birds on this. Oh, I've got some loose threads. Oh, well pretend I do not see them um, so yes that is the hope dress by Stylark and it I'm gonna make another one it's really comfortable um, I've seen some people online also say that they skipped the elastic in the sleeves which would be doable um, but I when I tried it on I thought these sleeves are so wide that if I met a friend for coffee that friend could actually fall into my sleeve I wouldn't know until I got home that I had a small friend in my sleeve so I decided I'd um, cinch them up a bit with the elastic so there is another one. I don't know if it's going to be my special bumblebee fabric, but there will be another one made, maybe out of more scrap fabric that I've got around. This would work in patchwork, I think. This would work with multi... I'm still going to stop thinking out loud. I'm going to thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, and I will see you for the next video. And I'm going to go now because when I was down the paddock filming the long shot, um, I spotted a golden orb weaver. So I'm going to go and see how she's getting on. You take care of yourself. Have a lovely rest of your week. And I'll see you soon. Bye.